There's a ton of stuff on the internet. And Max sent a picture and said, we should make this. And I looked at it and I went, no. And then a week later I went, yes, we have to recreate that. First off, thank you for the inspiration for this. I didn't want to do it at first. I really didn't. I go, that's dopey. Max goes, no, I think it'll be great. I go, ah, I don't know. So I pushed it off, I pushed it off, I pushed it off. And then one day I went, let's do it. Do you remember the day? Yes. Couldn't think of anything else to do that day. So I said, let's do it. And now I'm all about it, really. We even got the same uh, little trompo skewer tray thing to make it on. A couple tiny changes, but we'll be pretty true to how they did it. Well, I got nothing else. If you boys don't have anything else, we might as well start. Let's do it. It's a good setup, isn't it? I feel efficient. I feel like I'm a doctor in an operating room. I got all my shit laid out. So here's going to be the plan. We're going to take a, a patty, season it, little barbecue sauce, cheese, and on it goes. And my seasoning is this, kosher salt, pepper, and garlic powder, also known as, anybody? No. SPG. You've never said that before. <laughs> no, not for us, but people call it SPG. Really? Yeah, salt, yeah. pepper, garlic. And it was equal amounts of uh, each, okay? These patties are quarter pound uh, Wagyu. They were not very expensive, so. So here's the plan, ready? We season. We're just gonna do the tops. I got 12, I think they're gonna fit. I think that's what Neil Bay used but I don't know for sure. Then just a few brushes of this, not to make a big gloppy mess, but just to make uh, some extra flavor in here, right? Right, Sam, that's an excellent idea. Well, thank you, boys. Nice to see that everybody is awake and fucking listening today. And now this guy will come off like this. I'll take a piece of cheese and I'm using uh, Colby Jack on top. Try and find the center and on we go. And down we go, that's it. I made a mess because there's this little thing. But that's just it, okay? So we'll continue until we're done. Max, please play some lovely music for the home audience. Swag. That's beautiful, isn't it? And he gets crowned with a, a big piece of onion like on the El Pastor tacos. And that will look like this. <laughs> beautiful. You know what happens next? We put it on. We put it on the smoker. And with the birds chirping their approval in the background, on we go. Look, I cleaned up my Traeger. Look how nice it is. No idea how hot to cook this. So I've chosen 325 degrees. And I think the goal is to try and keep them nice. Medium rareish. It's rare. It's, it's beautiful. It's there. It's there. Can you guys come over there? Come over. Stand there looking at me. You want to see it coming off. That's always what you like. Look at it. I'm telling you that barbecue sauce, it's actually gorgeous. And we're off. Do you remember how much we enjoyed cereal as a kid? The sweet, the crunchy, the colors, the delicious, the whole thing was fantastic. But what you probably don't remember is how horrible it was for you. Tons of sugar and empty calories. What was the point? Well, then it was just to be a kid and be happy. But the makers of Magic Spoon, Magic Spoon, have reinvented cereal. So now as adults, we can enjoy it like kids, but with some actual benefits to it. Zero grams of sugar, 13 to 14 grams of protein, and only four net grams of carbs carbs in each serving. And my favorite part, there's only 140 calories per serving. They're also keto friendly, gluten free, grain free, soy free, and low carb. But you can push all that aside because the thing that really matters is this part. How does it taste? It's Saturday morning. I'm watching cartoons. My mom's talking and I can't hear a thing because this is crunching so beautifully in my ear and I'm mesmerized. Look, it's January and we're all trying to eat better. And for many of us, that means absolutely tasteless, horrible food or nothing but stalks of celery. There's a 100% happiness guarantee. If for any reason you do not like it, they'll refund your money back. Click the link below to get Magic Spoon cereal. You can build your very own box. And if you use my code STCG, you'll get $5 off. And trust me, you won't be bored because with a lineup like this, there's a lot to choose from. Okay, so you let it cool for a few minutes, but we're gonna slice into this pan, but there's a bunch of oil here that I don't like. So I'll get rid of this. Why add extra fat if you don't have to? Yes, we all understand the concept. Fat means flavor, but it's gonna be fatty enough. Right now, we'll just take our knife. Contact, I'm going right here. All good with that? Good. Guess what, too late. Oh gosh. So here's what we do. We just get some pieces. Go here, nice. This oh, is good. how juicy it is. Okay, so what you do, get some cut off the outside, right? Have it sitting there. 
Now you take a warm tortilla and a warm little bun. Okay, but before we finish it, I want this onion off. Oh, look at how that worked. So I get rid of this little papery outside. Hello, beautiful little onion underneath. And, oh, it's soft and supple. Oh, damn, I love this. I love onion like this, right? Gorgeous, gorgeous and ready. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna stick with this little barbecue theme. So we've got a little bun here and we have a tortilla, warm. So now the bun is gonna get a little Japanese mayo, just a little bit, and the little of the barbecue sauce we started with, just like that. And the tortilla gets some sour cream and a little bit of the barbecue sauce. We're keeping our theme alive here. So we go like this and we go like this. That little slider is going to be amazing. And then we go like this and like this. Don't be shy and don't be cheap. Don't be any of those things. And then that, oh, look how nice that looks. And then this, come on everybody, stay together. Come on everybody, stay together for me. And now we do this. We bust this up and we try and get ourselves a bite of this. Perfectness, thank you very much. Oh man, but wait. Barbecue sauce, brought it home in the, the most delightful way ever. That cheese, those onions. Look at that kid, look how beautiful this is. That's a bite, that's a bite worth living for right there. And on one, two. All right, so here's the thinking. You make it, it's not a lot of work, it's time. Solid couple hours of cooking. But when it's done, it sits out, there's tortillas, there's buns, there's whatever you want to serve it in for your friends to come over and cut some off and fill it up. You know what that means? That means they're happy and they're doing the work. You did the pre-work, it's no big deal. Three pounds of uh, burger meat, some cheese, little sauce. Bob's your uncle. Shit, Bob's my uncle. See ya.